Now today I'm going to be showing you step by step exactly how to get a woman obsessed with you or attached with you, specifically using stoic seduction. Stoic seduction is a method or stoic seduction is a frame of psychological perceived value that all of you are going to have to exercise at some point in a dating dynamic in order to maintain that woman's interest due to the fact that she now feels as if you're an attractive man who can actually lead her. So today's video, the whole purpose of it is to show you step by step how to do that and how to implement this so that way it's easy instead of you feeling like you're putting on a persona that's not actually you. Now the reason why we've crossed over 630 members inside of our movement, which I'm super happy to announce, is because of posts like this. So we had one of our guys, he goes, I've had more success in the past two weeks than I've had in the last two years. He says, doing the Lord's work, brother, honored to be on the ground floor with you at Casey Zander. So since I see guys actually transforming their dating lives quickly, okay, like not just like actually getting results, but getting results fast, I want you to check that out after today's video is over because this community has been growing and I've been watching guys actually get dating results in real time. All right, now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually make a woman obsessed with you or really enjoy the experience dating you, specifically using stoic seduction. This is something that you have to embody and this does take practice, but I'm going to show you step by step how to do this the proper way. Now, in order to truly embody this, the first thing we have to look at is we have to actually understand why women fall in love with emotionally unavailable men. Okay, this is a deep concept you have to understand. Emotionally unavailable men is the types of men that women fall in love with. So, you've been conditioned throughout your life to care about bullshit that you don't need to, okay? So what I can tell you is this, most of the things that you believe or that you think that you should be doing in order to maintain a proper relationship or a dating dynamic with a woman, okay, is completely false. So the fact is this, an emotionally unavailable man, he doesn't feel the need, okay, or he doesn't necessarily crave a relationship. So the main reason why women fall in love with this type of guy is because he's not trying to build a relationship with her. He doesn't need a relationship, he's not trying to build one, and he doesn't care. So when a woman sees this, she sees that a guy is complete with himself. She sees that a guy is actually self-sufficient with or without somebody. So because of that, she tends to gravitate more towards him because this is attracting her. Now notice this, attraction is not something that you can plan right? Or that you can plan to have happen. Attraction is something that happens on its own. So she gravitates towards this type of guy. So she feels he's stronger than the rest due to the fact that he doesn't need a relationship. So the only men that women even respond to or reply to in real life or through text message, keep in mind what I'm telling you this, I try to be as descriptive as possible. The only men women even respond to or reply to in real life or on text message. Meaning I've tested all of this. It's the type of guys who don't need a girlfriend. These are the type of guys who don't need love. These are the type of guys who don't even care if they get a positive response on text message back, okay? Not only that, she can tell that he doesn't need companionship. So now she's pursuing his validation. The biggest thing that women notice with this type of guy is that he does not get attached after sleeping with her. So even if they sleep together, he's not emotionally attached to her. Meaning that if that was, let's say, you know, something that happened, he doesn't necessarily care if it goes anywhere, if a relationship actually comes of it. So now he's at the cause of her emotions instead of him being at the effect. Typically how majority of men live is they are constantly at the effect or they are reactive based on how the woman is replying to them. So now that we've covered that, what is stoic seduction? So for those of you wondering what stoic seduction actually is, stoic seduction, okay, is absolute verbal frame control over your own emotions with proper masculine tonality. So I'll give you an example. An example, this starts all the way back even when you guys first start text messaging. This is the frame that you need to set verbally in real life. These are the levels of psychological perceived value that you have to actually work through. So let me give you an example. This is a real life text message example that I got yesterday word for word. I will show you. I was texting a girl and I was saying something that I wanted us to do 
And her reply was, I'd rather just have you watch me on top of you. Okay, most guys, what they would do right there is they would say like, yes, please, or they would agree with it, or they would say something flirtatious back. And instantly, I remember, verbal frame, okay, masculine tonality. So I text message her back and I say, calm down, young lady. I go, you don't always get what you want. Instead of escalating that, what I had to do was I had to set the proper frame. And instantly you can see, then she puts a heart on my text message. This is something that most guys don't know how to do. So the vocal tone, okay, or the vocal tonality in real life, here's what you're doing. When you're talking to the woman, it's all about playful things. It's never anything serious. So the things that I like to stick to, okay, is things like movies, things that are fun, and music. So as I'm doing that, or if this is the main topics that I'm actually talking about, what I like to have too is some kind of food. So now I can talk about how good the food is and I can say yum, I can say, oh, my tummy is so full. You can get her to laugh, it's easy. That is the masculine tonality. The talk is all playful, it's nothing serious. But at the same time, the vocal tone of your voice, the way you're saying things, it's very direct, okay, it's drawn out or you can even draw out words. So it's like you speak probably 10 to 15% slower. You're very serious. Like a lot of times the woman will even giggle and she'll say, are you always this serious? She will say these things because you're demonstrating masculinity with no emotion. And oftentimes when you say things that are funny, but you don't necessarily show emotion while you're saying it, it makes her giggle and she starts to get into a very feminine and playful state. So why is this? The reason why you have to have stoic seduction is because women are attracted to men that they cannot easily seduce. If she can easily seduce you, she watches you get bubbly, okay? As she watches you get bubbly, now she's going to watch you start to smile and she's going to see that you're slowly becoming invested into her frame that she is putting on. So this is very bad. Okay, you have to make sure that you have the proper masculine tonality. So now shifting our attention over to this side of the market board, women can only respect a man who is stoic and non reactive. And this is a big difference that most guys have to understand. Because if you're the type of guy who you go out a lot, and you rely on a lot of charm and charisma, it can work in the short term, but oftentimes it fails you in the long run. So let me explain. Women can only respect a man who is stoic and non reactive. So when you are stoic and non reactive, she feels his masculine energy. So guys who focus heavily on these two words, charm and charisma, there's a few things that happen. Okay, and looking at guys who operate their dating life this way, at face value, it looks like they have it all figured out. But don't be so easily fooled. Let me explain guys with charm and charisma, they oftentimes can get laid. Okay, yes, they oftentimes can do that. Number two, a lot of times you're going to find that they have lots of women who may be responsive to the heightened vibe and the heightened emotional state that that guy is bringing to the table, which lets them feel something. And because of that, number three, at face value, she appears like she is in love. But here's what happens. Since this guy is demonstrating a lot of emotion, these guys can never retain the relationships typically because the woman starts to test him more. And then oftentimes as time goes on, he will oftentimes start to fail those tests. So as a woman sees a guy who operates heavily on charm and charisma, she will test him more. Okay. She senses that he is emotionally driven. Okay. And not only that, he gets reactive and then oftentimes it's over. So as she pulls away, guys who focus heavy on charm and charisma, he will typically pursue and he will typically try to reactivate those conversations. But because of that, now she senses his attachment and now she pulls away. So this is the lie. Okay, the lie about being yourself with women, there's a huge lie that guys have been told. And the reason why you hear this lie is because it's easy to get confused. A lot of content creators talk about the word congruence. What they'll often say is they will say women want a guy who is congruent with himself or who knows himself. And that's great. But that doesn't mean that you can just be yourself however you want. And that's okay. You still have to authentically embody your own personality. But make no mistake, you're going to have to do this in the right way, where you actually set the right dynamic for attraction to occur. So this is the lie about being yourself with women. Most men, what they say is they say, well, I don't want to change. I just want to be able to say whatever I want. And she just likes me for me. And here's the thing, guys, I can tell you this. I've tested all of this shit over the years. 
If you're watching this channel, I have tested everything. I have tested house parties. I have tested going out. I have tested online dating. I have tested everything. Because of that, since I've tested all the shit over the years, what I can tell you is this. The points on this marker board that I'm breaking down for you, this is the only thing that women respond to. You are going to have to, no matter who you are, you are going to have to embody these seductive and stoic elements of masculinity that women respond to because this is what they're actually attracted to and you can't change that. Yes, you can still be yourself. Yes, you can still express yourself the way you want to express yourself with the clothes you want to wear and the hobbies that you have interest in and the type of career that you want to get involved in. All of that can still be you, but you are going to have to set the proper dynamic verbally for attraction to actually occur. I have tested all of this. These are the only things women respond to and I'm going to tell you this, the hotter the girl gets, meaning the more attractive she is to you or the more attractive she is to men in general, the thing that you have to understand is the hotter the girl gets, the more important these points become because you are now dealing with a woman who knows and understands her own attractiveness. So majority of you, if you are watching this video or you are new to some of my videos, Majority of you, if you are just learning this information for the first time, I'm going to tell you the truth here. Majority of you will have to change your whole attitude and demeanor when you're dating or the whole attitude you have with the dynamic with women. The thing that I can tell you is in real life, you can still act how you would like to act in your day to day interactions. But when you are specifically dealing with a relationship or a dating interaction, this is the frame that has to be set in order for attraction to occur. So here's the thing with maturity, as you get older and the more you date with maturity, you realize that it is not even about getting laid. It's not even about sleeping with the girl. Sex has very little to do with any of this. And here's why oftentimes it means nothing. What you are actually optimizing for and what you actually want is you want her to respect you because if she doesn't respect you, the whole relationship will eventually fail. If she doesn't respect you, what will happen is oftentimes she will try to find a different man who she can respect. So this is going to be the only way that a woman will typically want to be with you by you withholding emotional availability. She opens up and increases her emotional availability towards you. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. I want you to join us inside of that community that I put together for you and we'll see you in the next one.